You'll see it in neighborhoods across our community. You imagine it like a flower, it is, is just now blossoming. In the new school buildings, the expansions. Oh, well, it's completely transformed. Re-emerging arts and PE programs and the technology. But most vividly, you'll hear it in stories. It's bright, it's nice. It's perfect. Details of the impact of the 2012 DPS bond and mill levy. Two Denver voter approved initiatives supporting students and families in every part of the city. An investment in our future, our kids. Quite frankly, I think our schools never have enough funding. After the recession, you know, we just haven't recovered in the way that, that we've needed to. The 2012 bond is helping DPS meet some of those needs. Every school across the district received bond funding to improve various parts of their campus, with some funds going to maintenance or building renovations, technology or security systems. An example of a school community with significant bond investments is over at the Denver West campus. Seeing it now, it's a transformation. There's a new tech lab, which has found a legion of aspiring engineers, computer scientists, and just plain techies. It gives us a, more space to explore options for the future. Like this is more science and technology based, and it takes us away from the math and the arts that's inside the building. So this space is something new. Designated for that. that. Yeah. For freshmen, Levi DeLude. There's pure technology in here. And Amy Sarah. Uh, for me personally, I've been able to focus more. This dedicated space helps them imagine and craft their futures. It's not like your regular courses. It's something different. Yeah, it was really cool uh, seeing everything shiny and new. It gives me a different opportunity to learn something else. Uh, wanting to explore everything because yeah. it's it's a really nice space. Among other investments at West is an updated gymnasium floor, a much safer environment for athletics and events, space to rally together as a community. See, now we have like pretty nice designs. We got a cowboy right there. We have design right there. Like it's, it's really nice. The community investment is not only in the buildings, but also in opportunities. The 2012 Mill Levy supports every DPS student with programs from arts and PE to math tutoring and early childhood education. I've seen those dollars in action and actually I've seen the art dollars on the walls of schools, you know, throughout throughout the district. At Hamilton Middle School, the arts aren't only on the walls. <laughs> but they're also in the halls. An opportunity opened up when the mill levy tax was passed. Uh, the Denver voters allowed more funding for PE and art. And so then we have this incredible program now at, at Hamilton, uh, a dance program. Uh, and I served throughout the year probably about 600 students, 95% uh, who have never danced before. Well, I like dance class because it's kind of a community. We're kind of a family and we come together when we dance. The students, they, they've taken charge of their learning. Uh, most importantly, they've found love in dance. It's like a safe zone where everybody can express themselves. They can approach dance with confidence. And we get to live an artistic experience that is outside of their norm, but is now part of their life. How do you begin to sum up the impact of a community's investment on our school system? Perhaps the best way to understand it fully is in the stories of gratitude toward those who made this possible. We just feel blessed right now. Thank you. Been a major improvement. To all of the Denver voters, this has been an incredible, an incredible experience. This classroom is having school be, go by so much easier. So to the voters, I thank you. Thank, thank you, you, Denver, Denver voters. voters. With this update on the 2012 DPS bond and mill levy, I'm Ben McKee.